Hello everyone, this is a three minute video, a tutorial on pressing glass cutting boards. I've had so many inquiries so I thought I'd go ahead, bite the bullet and show you the thing from start to finish. To save time I've actually got one cooking already with the same design on because they take three minutes so I will show you what I do. Now the cutting boards themselves are quite large, this size is 29 by 39 centimetres which is basically an A3 size. It's a smooth finish, they come in cardboard boxes like this and they have little sticky feet on to put on the bottom. So we have our design already printed out, now do not mirror the design you'll see why when we finish um, it's one of my designs that's in my shop you just stick it on like we normally do we will do this one handed good job they're tempered glass the way I throw them around but this you know they're foolproof once you get the hang of it you can't go wrong so I always make my print my designs out a good half centimetre all the way round bigger so that you've got room to manoeuvre you can't quite see the design through the glass but then we go ahead and we tape it over the sides and secure it we tape I'm sorry about the wobbliness I really need to sort myself out a tripod. I'm just not very good at public speaking. I get tongue-tied, I get nervous, but at the same time, I want you all to see the outstanding results that we get from doing it like this. So, that's your design taped and ready to go. Now, we press three minutes, firm pressure. You do not need a special pad or anything in your press. Um, glass cutting boards are about £3.50 to buy from our local suppliers. If you're in the USA, you will find them at Condi Transfer Press, not the Transfer Press, Coney Island Transfers and Condi, I think are the two leading ones. You do need your heat gloves to get these out. I'm trying to put it on one handed. They're excellent. Get these off eBay or Amazon. Press is done. Now, this is very hot. As you can see, I'm not very tall. I have to stand on tiptoes to release my pressure. I'm four foot, 11 and a half, little midget. Blow out paper, top and bottom. Now, this is gonna be hot. Now, when you first take it out, it looks like you've gone wrong until you turn it over, take the transfer off, you're going to be surprised. I always put mine on a nice soft fabric because you've got condensation and it needs to cool down. It's even warm through the heat protective gloves. So, peel off. It looks like it's gone wrong. But, just hold on for a sec, turn it over and just look at those results. Absolutely beautiful. This is a personalised gift for, well it's a personal gift for my friend who loves going away in her caravan. So I thought I'd make her one. The yellow tape's got to come off, it's just too hot to handle at the moment. You stick your little feet on it and it's just lovely. Brilliant results. I think I've got near enough 200 designs in my shop for you to choose from. They're all ping designs so that you can resize them. Because I actually make a lot of cutting boards at half this size for kitchen worktop savers and little mini ones to go in people's bars and things like that but um yeah really pleased with the results on that one i hope that helps you can't get 
anything easier to do. Basic rules. Print your design out half a centimetre bigger all the way around than what you need it. And do not mirror print. Turn it off. If you've got the sawgrass like what I have, it's very easy to do when you've got the settings and your print studio, whatever software you're using, turn off print mirror because you will waste your boards. Um, get some of the cheaper ones to practice on if you're not sure. But if you've got any questions, post them underneath and I'll try and get back to you. Bye.